All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to embed or install an ISRC code into uh, the metadata on your MP3 track so that uh, it can be recorded, you know, for, um, you know, people know how many downloads you got or who the rights holders are for this particular piece of music, you know, so that you can get paid, you know, when it gets played on a radio station, Pandora, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, one thing I want to point out quick before we get started here, though, is this is not like a complete guide video. I'm just going to show you really quickly how to embed the code. If you want to know more about ISRC codes, um, I have a, a blog post that I made. It's got all kinds of information in there. I'm going to put that link in the show notes. So um, just go check that out and uh, you'll learn a lot more, like how much it costs, you know, what, what the code means and, and a bunch of other stuff. So So check that out. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is you're going to want to get your ISRC code if you don't have one already. And you're going to come to this website right here, usisrc.org. And um, you're going to get your code. You get that code, you're going to take uh, keep track of it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to download this piece of software here called MP3 Tag. And it just happens to be the one I used. Um, I know that there are pieces of software out there and production software even um, I'm not sure if Pro Tools does it but uh, I know there's one or two other um, that my producer was using I, I forget what he uses but just check out check your production software because you might be able to do this right within side of the production software I use Reaper so um, I wasn't able to do that or at least I haven't figured out a way so this is the way I do it and pretty much the way anybody can do it um, without having to have production software so get this mp3 tag um, you know just go to this particular and I'll put this in the show notes so you don't have to you know remember what this is or type it out or whatever you can copy and paste it from the show notes and uh, once you have this piece of software it's gonna look a lot like this actually it's gonna look exactly like this <laughs> and then you're gonna you're gonna get in here um, you're gonna open up a track in this case I'm gonna use uh, brown boots for an example it's just one of my songs and you can see that all the information is you know gonna be tagged within this particular file so I'm gonna have all this stuff in there and what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the track so you highlight the track like I said we're going to do brown boots so you highlight the track you right click on it and then you're going to click on extended tags and you see you get this other pop up here and I already have the ISRC code in there however what you're going to do now if you don't have the ISRC code is you're going to click on add field and the little star there and let's move this over a little bit it keeps going off the screen so I'm going to type in ISRC and it should be in that field already. So basically um, there and I've already uh, I've got the ISRC code there. Now I'm going to go over to um, you know this is where I keep I just have a really simple open office document. You could use a Word document. You could use a spreadsheet. You know for all I care. I don't know. However you want to organize your stuff. Um, that just has all my ISRC codes. I go in here and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy that, go back into here, and I'm going to paste that sucker in there, and bam, now i got two of them in there, so I'm going to have to get rid of that, but but um, that's all there is to it, you know, so, um, so you just tag all your files, and you should be good to go, and you'll be, you know, getting stuff tracked. I was just going to show you another place where, um, you know, for instance, you know, like some of the tracking stuff, like Sound Exchange, for instance, they're going to use the ISRC codes to track your stuff. So you're going to end up with this big spreadsheet. It's going to have all your music on it. You know, it's going to have the album UPCs, all this other information. But you can see right here they have a column for ISRC. So another way to keep track of your stuff and, um, you know, make sure that you get paid for your music. So there you go. Um, I think that's pretty, uh, pretty cut and dry, like I said, um, for a lot more on ISRC codes. Check out my um, or check out my blog post in the link below this video. So there you go, man. Have a good one and uh, good luck.